My name is Wayne Schubert. I'm a professor of atmospheric science, and I came to CSU in 1973 after graduating from UCLA uh, in the Department of Atmospheric Science there. And uh, I work mostly in dynamic meteorology, especially in tropical dynamics. And I have a group here which consists of about five graduate students now and uh, three research associates. And I'd like to show just uh, an example of some of the work we do on our project. First thing I'd like to show is an example of the intertropical convergence zone. This is a satellite picture from a geostationary satellite. This is the California coast here. Hawaii is out here. So this is the eastern Pacific. And this is a band of very deep uh, convection in what's called the intertropical convergence zone. So the, uh, the air is going up in the atmosphere, in the intertropical convergence zone. And it has to be drawn from the north and from the south. And it uh, gives rise to what's called the Hadley circulation. So you can imagine a circulation where the air comes in at low levels, goes up and then back, and the same thing on the other side. So there's two branches of the Hadley circulation. Since this is in July, we call this the summer hemisphere branch, and this the winter hemisphere branch. Now what we did on our project is try to understand the relative strengths of the two branches of the Hadley circulation. Now this is an example of what the Hadley circulation would look like if the intertropical convergence zone were right on the equator. This is 30 north, this is the equator, this is 30 south, and this is vertical going from the surface to about 15 kilometers, or in pressure, from about 1,000 millibars to 100 millibars. Now, if the uh, intertropical convergence zone were right on the equator, what would happen is the air would circulate like this. It would come in in equal amounts from either hemisphere and then go up and then go out in equal amounts. But on the average, the intertropical convergence zone is north of the equator. So you have a situation like this. Again, this is 30 north, 30 south. This is the equator. So this is an example where the intertropical convergence zone is located at 10 degrees north latitude. And what happens then is that the air is it's again drawn in from the south and from the north. But these lines indicate uh, how, how strong the circulation is. And if you count the number of lines here, it's about three times the number of lines here, which indicates that this branch of the Hadley circulation is running about three times the strength of this branch. This is, remember, the winter hemisphere branch of the Hadley circulation, and this is the summer hemisphere branch. So uh, we've determined from this modeling it's the, it's the winter Hadley cell which always runs uh, stronger than the summer Hadley cell. And the reason for this is that uh, what drives the circulation is the release of latent heat in the upward branch. That is, when water vapor is converted to liquid water, heat is released and that drives upward motion. So uh, the air has to come in from both directions and there's resistance to the movement of air in the north-south direction. And it turns out that that resistance is less at the equator than it is farther from the equator. So it's easier for the air to slip along this way than this way because this air is right close to the equator. So if we go back to this diagram here, what you can imagine is that you have an ITCZ here at 10 north, and you have uh, the summer Hadley cell running like this, and the winter Hadley cell running like this, but the winter cell is running about three times as strong as the summer cell. In the model, you can move the latitude of the Hadley circulation. It turns out that the maximum asymmetry between the two hemispheres happens when the ITCZ is located about 13 degrees north average position may be 10 degrees north. So uh, the average position is close to the uh, position of maximum asymmetry. So if you'd like to read more about this, uh, all of this uh, information is on our website.